So She-Hulk's just started. What's this woke rubbish about? You know, turning the Hulk into a woman? This is the society we're living in today. Says a lot of people. But let's talk about this here episode of this new Marvel TV series. So yeah, you hear a lot of rubbish being thrown around these days about woke and all this sort of thing. People complain about the MCU because they're injecting a lot of strong female characters into the mix and She-Hulk is no exception. However, She-Hulk is a character that's actually been around for about 42 years. She-Hulk was conceived in 1980 by Stan Lee and has been in print in many a comic since. Um, I'm very familiar with the character, I'm very familiar with the comics and I get a lot of enjoyment out of them. So I've been looking forward to this show, but does this show stand up to the other Marvel shows? Um, let's find out. But before you do, hit the subscribe button, come and join the channel, um, leave me a comment down below on your thoughts on the episode if you've watched it. Um, and yeah, so this episode, um, it pretty much tells an origin story for the character of She-Hulk. The origin is somewhat different than in the comics. It's the same, but different. It's to do with a blood transfusion, essentially. Um, although in this case, it's done in an accident and um, Bruce Banner's blood gets into a cut where he's been cut onto her. And, and um, yeah, and she gains Hulk powers. Only she's different because she retains being what makes her Jennifer Waters at the same time as being a Hulk. She hulks out, but she has the memories of Jennifer Waters. She is Jennifer Waters, but green, bigger, stronger, this sort of thing. Now, like I said, this whole episode is done in that manner. This episode runs for about 35 minutes. That's including the um, end credits, which we know in a Marvel TV show run for a considerable amount of time. But each episode of this is gonna be shorter than um, your standard sort of Marvel fare, um, much like the length of maybe WandaVision. And a lot of people moan about that, but this is more of a sitcom show. This is more of a comedy show. And again, this is something that people um, are, are having issues with, apparently. But it's very much in tune with the comic books. Um, the She-Hulk comic books have always been different. They've always been somewhat more tongue-in-cheek. They've always delved into the lawyer stuff, they've delved into um, a lot of crazy characters that within the MCU, characters that are Z-list characters, um, these background characters that look weird, look odd, and, and I, from the trailers for this at least, and from this first episode, you're getting that vibe, and you're probably going to get these characters as well popping up, and, and this gives Marvel a chance to do something um, different and fresh with the Hulk. So like I said, the entire first episode is an origin story episode. It's how she got her powers, her with um, Hulk, normal Hulk, trying to develop and control these powers, and then her returning to her normal life as a lawyer. It's bookended by um, uh, scenes where she is, um, she's basically telling the story of how she became the Hulk. So in the context of the continuity of the story, she is already she has already got her powers. Now this falls at a point in um, the Hulk timeline or in the Marvel MCU timeline after in um, Endgame because the Hulk or Bruce Banner has still got his arm in a cast or in a sling, I should say, um, after the events of Endgame and him using the um, power stones, the gauntlet. Um, yeah, and he, it does delve into a little bit of. The time spent, talking about time spent, him getting the Hulk and his alter ego Bruce Banner together to create Smart Hulk and this sort of a thing. So, you know, what can I say? I enjoyed this episode. I thought it was thoroughly good. Um, it does break the fourth wall somewhat. There are a couple of scenes where uh, Jennifer Waters does talk to the camera, talk to the audience, so to speak. And, and yeah, it, it worked. Um, you know, I've got to take my hats off to Marvel for doing something different in that sense, making it a bit more comedic. Although Marvel is always very light-hearted anyway. But um, it, it works for me. I know the Woke Brigade kick off about this stuff, and but I've got no issue with what they're doing here. You know, um, 
it's fine. It is the character of Jennifer Waters from the comics. It is the Hulk. It is the She-Hulk. And she was from a time when woke didn't exist. So just accept it. Just just embrace it. Embrace what Marvel's given us. And, and, and it's fun. It's good. Um, the effects. If You know, this is a TV show, right? But we know that Marvel stuff has a very big budget. And we know that there were issues in the trailers where Jennifer Waters looked somewhat rubbery. Um, they've had time to perfect the Bruce Banner Hulk. They've been doing it for years and years. But this is a new character they're doing it to. But a lot of the stuff with the trailer looked like they hadn't refined it. They hadn't finished it. That sort of a thing. And here, you know, some of the effects are great. Some a bit questionable. But for the most part, it's all very good. And she looks fantastic in her Hulk guise. Um, and the actress playing the Hulk does a very good job. She's very likeable. Very interesting. Um, so, that's, yeah... All very good and interesting, you know, it's, it's fantastic stuff. Um, we haven't really got a grasp on any support cast or anything like that yet. This is a very much Hulk-centric episode with her and Bruce Banner being the primary um, characters throughout this episode. Um, so it is effects heavy in that they are Hulks a lot of the time. Um, and, and it just works, it's very good and I, I really enjoyed it. And I look forward to next week. So that's it. That's all I can say about this episode. There's nothing negative that I can really draw from it. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Let me know your comment, uh, your thoughts, sorry, in the comments down below. Um, let's talk She-Hulk. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.